Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at some sound design as we recreate the main melody from Lotus by Lil Uzi Vert. This is personally one of my favorite Uzi songs and I'm really excited to get into this. So with that being said, let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. All right, so first things first, we're gonna wanna set our project tempo to 150 BPM, which is the original tempo of the track. To recreate the melody behind Lotus, we're gonna be using Serum. Now, when I hear the melody from Lotus, I kind of imagine that it's some sort of low pass square wave with some reverb and delay. So first things first, we're gonna to wanna to change our wavetable to something that's more of a square wave. As of now, this is what the default wavetable sounds like. So we definitely want something closer to a square wave. So for that, we're gonna go into the analog category and grab saw rounded to square waveform. So this is a little closer to where we want to be, but as of now, it's a little too soft for the preset that we're trying to recreate. But the way we're going to get this closer to the original melody is by using the wavetable position knob. You guys will notice as I start to adjust this wavetable position knob, it's going to give us more of a sharper sound by introducing those high end frequencies that you hear in the original melody. So I'm just going to bring this up and then stop right around where it sounds good. Now, the next thing we wanna take a look at is gonna be the envelope down here. Whatever shape we set to this envelope, the volume of the wavetable is gonna follow. So we wanna make this more of like a pluck sound with a longer release. So to do that, we'll start off by bringing the sustain down. And then the last thing that we're gonna do is take the release and just lengthen this up. Now this is really gonna be key to recreating that melody from Lotus. If you listen to the original record, you definitely get like an ambient atmospheric feel. And a huge part of that comes from the tail end of the release kind of overlapping the notes into each other. So right about there should be good for now. Once we pencil in the melody, we might come back to the envelope and tweak it just to get it a little closer to the original record, but this is a pretty good start. The rest of the preset is gonna take place in the effects panel of Serum. The first thing we're gonna wanna take a look at is gonna be the delay. Now, when you listen to the original melody, it kind of sounds like a lot of the notes are repeating themselves. And I think that is largely due to some kind of delay somewhere in the effects chain. We're going to actually link the two channels so that they play the same note. And then we're going to set this to one eighth note. We're going to set our mode to ping pong. That way the notes aren't clashing so harshly against each other. You can hear it kind of widens up the stereo field and makes things a little more atmospheric. And we're also gonna bring down the feedback. We don't want too many of the notes being repeated. We just want to see like one or two instances of a repeat and then have it move on to the next note. So that should pretty much finish up the delay. Again, once we pencil in the melody, we'll go back and fix anything we need to fix. We wanna go ahead and move on to the reverb here. We're gonna to wanna to bring the size of our reverb down. What we can also do is adjust the decay just so it's not so long. And then we can mess with the mix level just to get it right. I definitely feel like there's either a filter or EQ that's doing a low pass on the entire melody and adding a little bit of resonance. To do that, we're gonna use an EQ on the channel instead of doing the serum filter. So with that being said, we'll go ahead and move on to the piano roll and pencil in the actual notes for the melody itself. So this is pretty much the main melody, and as you can kind of hear, the preset is already pretty close. There's definitely some tweaks that we're gonna wanna make specifically to the envelope of the preset. So I'm just gonna boost the sustain until it sounds closer to the original. Now, I also mentioned that there's definitely some kind of low pass filter on the entire preset. We're gonna go ahead and go into channel one to add an EQ on top of the melody. And 
and then we'll do a slight boost just around where the filter cuts off. We're also going to do a cut of the low end. If we need to change anything, we'll go back and fix it. But let's go ahead and add the drums just so we can hear what the melody sounds like in the context of the rest of the beat. Now, all the drum sounds that I'm gonna be using in this video are for my personal drum kit. So if you need any of these drum sounds, make sure to check out my website at paulkits.com or just click the link in the description below. I'm just gonna do a quick arrangement of the melody and then get to work on the drums. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll get all our samples. We're gonna want a hi-hat, grab an 808, We'll grab a clap and then we'll grab a snare. All right, so let's go ahead and throw down the hi hats. Now, there are two different hi hat patterns in this beat there's this like slower paced one, and then there's a faster one that hits when the 808 hits. Um, and we'll make sure to add that later. But let's go ahead and throw down a clap. Let's also add that snare roll that comes in at the end of every turnaround. And before I add the 808, I'm just gonna add in that second hi-hat pattern that comes in. Finally, we'll grab the 808. Before I play the entire beat, I'm just gonna quickly adjust this 808. I'm gonna tighten it up a little bit. And then we're gonna use this pre-computed effect, turn on the clip and just add some boost. And I think this will get the 808 closer to the original record. And that is pretty much the sound design of Lotus by Lil Uzi Vert. If you guys enjoyed this video, please feel free to leave a like and a comment letting me know what you thought. Once again, if you need any of these drum sounds, you can find them at paulkits.com in my Scab Sounds drum kit. But other than that, guys, that's pretty much going to be it for me today. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you soon.